Looks like mostly a rain event for us, but there's a lot more that goes into this storm itself. I thought it would be easier to just break it down in a timeline for you because there are a lot of moving parts here. Now it'll start Thursday evening as a mix or snow, but quickly change over to rain. And then through most of the day Friday, it's a pouring windswept rain with gusts over 50 to 60 miles per hour. Then Friday night into Saturday, it turns much colder. The roads may ice over and we're left with some lingering snow showers and slick travel through most of Saturday. So all of that definitely a consideration to make if you'll be doing some traveling as we approach the holiday weekend. But up to that point, the weather will be fairly quiet around our neck of the woods. Temperature 20s and teens across the region this morning. We've got a 30 in Springfield close to it in Burlington, but some snow is coming down in the mountains once again. This is I-89 in Bolton where you can clearly see the snow is falling. And I drove this road yesterday. There were a couple of slick spots even in the afternoon, so low Locally, tough travel may be possible this morning, but as you can see, the snow is not widespread. It'll mostly linger in the mountains for the next couple of hours because there's just no real weather system over our heads to keep the snow showers going. That's why the weather is so quiet through the next several days. Now we'll find a few breaks of sun by the afternoon, but it won't turn into a blue sky. It'll just be a little bit brighter than yesterday with a light breeze out of the northwest and high temperatures not far from 30. You can see the clouds trying to break up on future cast by this evening, but this time of year you can never really bet on a sunny sky. And then for tomorrow, we'll start off with clouds, although they will break up a bit more, especially in Vermont and New Hampshire. I think northern New York stays in the clouds for most of the day, and then the clouds will come back for everybody on Thursday. All the while, no big rain or snow chances, but then as we think about the end of the week, here comes our storm. Thursday evening into early Friday. Again, it starts off as a mix of rain and snow, quickly going over to all rain, and then a very windy, rainy day throughout Friday, then followed by some much colder air, flipping everything over to snow on the back end. So we'll largely call this a wind-driven rainstorm, but as you saw, there is a snowier component to it right at the beginning and at the end, but the snow is not the big headline here. In fact, the wind will cause additional power outages. Of course, we just had 50,000 outages in Vermont late last week from the wet snow that came in. We could be adding more to that as this system comes in. And with all of the snow melt and rain coming down, minor flooding is possible as well. So we'll call it alert weather on Friday. Some impacts will last into Saturday, but by the time Christmas rolls around, we should be much drier with a high of 24. Back to you.